Hey, this is Ashley and I'm so excited to share a walkthrough of the All Things Planner with you. We're going to start with the cover page. This is the one that comes with the planner. It says All Things and then Planner. There are also additional covers that will come with the planner. So you can choose which cover you like the best. This first one is I Am Iconic. This one shooting for the stars. Love. Chic. This one's just the black and white polka dots. And then the boss. So you can add the cover to your planner by going here and copying the page. And then you're going to paste the page and you would just delete this cover out and that would be your new cover for the planner. This next page is basically a thank you letter from me. After that is a table of contents and each of the words for the sections is hyperlinked. So if you click on the word, it's gonna take you to the next section that you wanted to see or the next section that's in the table of contents. This next page is establishing the plan. This is the page where I list the custom dividers, but I wanted to do something different with this page. So I added a goal setting word search that you can find your top three words for the year in this word search and list them here. And then you can come down to this section and write your goals for the year. Down here, these are your custom divider sections. There are 10 custom dividers in this planner that you can use to create whatever you need for your planner. Um, some of the sections that you could do would be maybe meal planning, um, household, fitness, journaling, whatever you need for your planner to be, that's where you would create this area. Each one of these are linked to a separate divider. Now let's talk about this toolbar down at the bottom. This has 18 months here, and this is the 18 months that are included in the planner. So each month is linked to that month's section. And then you have a typewriter here. The typewriter is to get to your quick notes. This stack of coins takes you to the budget section. This paper here takes you to the templates. The circle with the star brings you back to this establishing the plan page with your custom dividers. Also, I wanted to bring you back to this custom divider section. So it's a reminder to review your goals that you've set for the year. When you come to your custom divider section, your goals that you've set are right here. So you can review them at any time or they're constantly coming back up so you can remember, okay, I set these goals. I need to work towards these goals. This is what I want to accomplish for this year. This house will bring you to the planner dashboard. So this bar is located on almost all the pages in the planner. This next page is your quick starter tips. It lists the icons that I just went over in the toolbar and it tells you exactly what section they take you to. It also gives you a couple of quick tips to get started using your planner. It's a more detailed section in the back in the help section that will really go into how to get started with your planning, but this is just a quick get you going. This next page is a list of affirmations for success that I've included. Next, you have your vision board for the year and you can customize this any way you see fit. If you don't wanna really do a vision board, you can um, change this to a mood board. You can make this planner however you want it to be for whatever you need it to be. This next page is your planner dashboard. This planner dashboard has all your planner templates that are held in this planner. And they're all hyperlinked, so they'll take you directly to those pages. They're all listed under sections, and your sections are calendars, planning, personal, social media, productivity, journal, entertainment, faith, notes, travel, health, fitness, financial, nutrition, and household. Next, we're coming to the calendars. I've included the 2022, since this is an 18 month calendar and we're gonna finish out this year. Then you have 2023 and 2024 calendars in here as well. This next section is one of my favorites. This is another at a glance calendar. This calendar gives you the months and then you have the days that are listed with a line. So you can write in here your plans that you have going on throughout the year. I like to use this for writing down doctor's appointments, also writing down um, my daughter's school schedule anytime they're out of school, um, any trips that we have coming up. I always color code it. So each 
like school has a, a certain color and the holidays for that month have a certain, not even for the month, holidays period have a certain color. And then any doctor's appointments, they have a certain color. So I know at a glance, okay, this is a this is an appointment. This is a day out of school day. I can just glance and see what we have going on when I'm trying to plan stuff throughout the year. This next page, um, I know some people like to see what they have going on for the year on one page, just at a glance. And this page gives you that option to write down any birthdays, special events, dates that you wanna remember. This is the area for you to do that. You have your passwords and then your contacts. Next, we're going into the quick notes section. It says random thoughts and then you have four blocks on each page. There are 20 pages in this random thoughts section that you can use. Let's say you use this random thoughts section a lot and you get to page 19. You can always copy the template and add more pages into this section if you need them. The next section you're gonna to come to is your calendars and on each calendar in the right hand corner of the block is a hyperlink that will take you to the daily plan for that page. Now there are gonna be more daily plans than days of the month because this is an undated planner. There are enough blocks in your month that you don't have to split a block to add your 31 days. You have enough blocks that you can put all 31 days on your calendar. Let's go to December. Behind each month is this weekly plan. I picked this weekly plan because I felt like this was a good starter for someone who was new to digital planning. This one gives you your days of the week and it gives you the lines that you need to write down whatever you have going on throughout the week. You also have your at a glance section here. There are four of these behind each month, but these can be removed and you can add the other weekly templates that you may wanna use or whatever you wanna put behind your month. This, this planner is completely customizable and you can do whatever you need to do in order to meet your planning goals with this planner. So, now when you hit the coin on your toolbar, it's gonna to bring you straight to the budget dashboard. The budget dashboard is hyperlinked. For the month, it'll take you to the month. And also for the budget section, I've also added in some templates that I feel like were a good starter for budgeting. Now there are more financial templates that are located on your dashboard that you can use and add to this section. I just picked a couple out to get you started. After the budget dashboard, you have your annual finance tracker. This lets you track your income, expenses, debts, savings, and credit score for the year. Down here, you have a place where you can write your financial goals for your budgeting. Next, you have your saving goal tracker jar. I use this area to write down whatever my savings goals are. And then I break down the goal on these lines. And as I meet each goal, I color in the jar until I reach the top. This next page is your debt payoff tracker. It lets you list your creditor, your starting balance, the minimum payment due, the interest rate, any notes that you may have, and you can keep track of the payments that you've made and how much more you have to pay on it. This next page is your savings tracker, and it lets you keep track of how much you've saved throughout the year. And then you go into your months. After your month, you have a budget overview. You have the bill pay tracker. You have the transaction tracker, you have the monthly budget review, and then you go into your next month. These are the templates that I've included in the budget section, but you can add or take away whatever you need to in this area using the financial templates that are included with the planner. So let's go back to the dashboard and go to the last page. of After the budget, section you have your 10 custom dividers that you can add your title to whatever you put on your whatever you put in your custom divider section you can add it to your divider for your sections next we have your templates you have the template catalog and it just gives you an overview of the sections of the template since all the templates are listed on the dashboard and if you click on these, they're hyperlinked, they'll take you directly to that section. You have this today's plan. Here you have your affirmations, your self-care goals for today, gratitude, quote of the day, best thing that happened, your mood for the day, and then you have an hourly um, schedule here that you can write in any uh, 
appointments or meetings or whatever you have going on. Some people like to time block. You can use this for time blocking. And down here you have your today I learned. This is more of a free planning area. You have these blocks that you can list your task. You can list your to do what, what you want to accomplish for today. Anything that you want to do in these blocks, you have the space to do it. This next template is the same blocks, but it has lines in there for you to use. This template is, I like to use this one when I have a lot going on for the day, but I don't want to use the time schedule. It has your errands, you got this, call, emails, note it, and then your focus down here at the bottom. Next daily plan has your tasks, and then it gives you a list um, with check boxes that you can check off as you complete each task. You have your notes and then your reminders for tomorrow. Then you have this free space that you can pretty much do whatever you like to do with. This next today's plan has a task checklist, notes, your mood for the day, today's reminder message, your affirmations, your gratitude, your quote for the day, the best things that happen, today in one word, and today I learned. Now we're going to the weekly plan. This is your weekly um, section. On this one, you have your top goals, your to-do list, your notes, and then you have your days listed on the right-hand side. This one, the days are listed on the left-hand side and you have your goals for the week, your priorities and affirmations. Here you have just your basic um, line days of the week and then you have it in white. This weekly plan, you have your days listed on the right-hand side and then you have a to-do list and notes. This next weekly plan, you have your days listed on the left-hand side and then you have where you can write in your date for the days above them. And then you have this line here and you can use this section over here for decorating. You can use it for checklists. There's so many options you can use this area for. Here's the same layout in black. You have your block section here with Monday through Friday and then the weekend. This is just a list of your days. You have another block schedule with the days of the week. Here's a block with lines. This is another type of block schedule, and then you have focus and notes. This slim line version of a weekly planner, I would think it would be perfect to use for like your dotted, just to sum up what you're doing. Not a big writing area, but just to denotate what you have going on throughout the week and add some little cute stickers to it. You can come down here and do whatever you need to do in these two boxes, they're blank. So you can use them for notes, you can use them for task lists, you can use it for errands, anything that you have going on that you you want to use these boxes for, they're free for you to use them. This next weekly planner is a checklist. So you can write down your tasks for the day and then check them off as they're completed. This is another block schedule. This schedule would be perfect for someone who does nails, who does hair, someone who does a lot of weekly meetings, this would be perfect that you can write down what do you have going on at what time during the day and you can see what your week looks like at a glance. This weekly plan is another block, but it's got your days sectioned off. Here's one with just the lines for each day and then you have your top priorities listed here. This is a freestanding checklist that you can add your task for the day. This is the same layout without the check boxes. Here's another block schedule. This is the weekly layout that's included behind the month. So if you take those out and then later on decide you wanted to use that, it's back here for you to use. Here's another block template and I left free space up here. Um, you can add maybe your calendar for the month, maybe some widgets that you want to include on your weekly planner that space that you can use those this next weekly planner is your week separated by lines here it is in black here it is on the, the right side of the paper and then again with black on the right side and now we're getting into the monthly overview this is where you can write your important dates for the month write down your goals for the month any tasks that you need to complete and anything that you don't want to forget for the month your monthly review, you have a summary of what all happened in the month. 
um, any achievements that you had, any challenges, your personal, social, career, health um, goals or challenges that you've had, any accomplishments, you can write them here. And then down here, you can write your memorable moments. The daily overview, um, your first block, I woke up feeling. Today's affirmations, gratitude, today I'm thankful for. Today's intentions, your goals, today I would like to accomplish, prioritize you. What's one thing I'll do for myself today? And then a brain dump area. Your daily check-in, this has your morning, um, your morning, your affirmations and your gratitude. How can I make today great? Here you can come back at night and you can write down the good things that happened for the day and then your steps to make tomorrow better. This next page is your daily review. You have a productivity scale that you can measure out your productivity for the day. You can assess your mood for the day. You have highlights for the day that you can write down anything that good or bad that happened, um, what you learned from today, three things that went well, what can I improve for tomorrow and tomorrow's action plan. Here's your weekly overview. This is what's happening this week in your personal, career, family, friends, social, household. Here are your tasks for the week, what must um, you complete and what you would like to complete. Here's your weekly overview. You can come here and write your major accomplishments for the week, any difficulties of the week, anything that you needed to reschedule or that you have coming up. Here you can list your incomplete tasks what you currently have in progress that you're working on, um, a summary of your week or your memorable moments. These are your finance pages. This is what we already looked at, your financial um, annual financial tracker, your budget overview, online purchase tracker, your subscription tracker, your debt payoff tracker, your monthly budget review, Here's the transaction tracker, your weekly expenses, your bill payment tracker, accounts and debits, savings tracker, the savings jar, and here's your paycheck budget. Some people like to budget um, for the month and some like to budget paycheck to paycheck. You have your project planner here where you can write your project, your start date and when it's due. Your, you can monitor your progress here, put dates for your milestones and your checkpoints your action plan, a task with check boxes, and then your notes. This is project planning too, the subject overview, planning steps, action plan, due date, and complete it. Here's your meeting notes, your meeting title. You write your notes here, your agenda for the meeting and your action plan. You have your task list with the check boxes. Here's another task list with check boxes and due dates. Here's your daily routine tracker. You can write your week here, your morning routines that you wanna track, your afternoon routines and your evening routines. Here's a monthly tracker and it goes um, through 31 days here. This is a brain dump page. Here's a brain dump with lines, daily brain dump that you can do the checklist, top priorities, big goals and what can wait. Up here, you can write your date and the mood. This is just a list that I included for whatever you may need a list for. This next page is your goal planner where you can write your goals, you can track your progress, brainstorming ideas. You can put your milestones here with a due date. You can list your task and you have a checkbox and you have your notes section. Here's goal setting. You can write your goal start date, whatever your goal is the date you wanna accomplish the goal, the steps you're gonna to take to reach the goal, two things that will help me reach my goal, and how I know I've reached my goal. This next template is your SMART goal template. You can write today's date, your target date, your start date, the date you achieved your goal, the goal itself, and you wanna verify that your goal is a SMART goal. Is it specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely? Here's a daily food log. You can log your meals, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, the total calories for the day and the calories for each meal. What are your food goals for the day? Track your water intake, any workouts that you completed and your thoughts on how you did for the day. Here's a recipe card 
where you can write down your dish, the time it takes the, um, to prepare, the time it takes to cook, your servings, your calories. You can include a picture here if it's a recipe that you've gotten from Pinterest or online. You can list out your ingredients and check them off once you've had them and you can write your directions on this side. Here's a weekly food log. Um, it basically, just like the daily food log, you can track your, whatever you ate for the week and your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, the calories for that meal, and then your total calories for the day. This is a weekly meal plan. Here are the days for the week for you to plan out your meals and then the grocery list for any of the items that you need to complete your meal plan. And here's a monthly meal plan that you can plan out for the month, whatever you want your meals to be for your family or for yourself. Here's a cleaning checklist. You can write your task and then check off the days that you've completed the cleaning. Here's a cleaning routine for living room, kitchen, dining room, bedrooms, porch deck, garage, bathrooms, and other. Here's a blank checklist. This is a shopping list that you can use for your groceries or household supplies that you may need with check boxes so you can check off as you get them. And this one's your fresh out of. It's another shopping list that you can use with check boxes. Here's a grocery list that you can use and it's split up into dairy, bakery, produce, meats and seafood, pantry and frozen with check boxes. Your daily gratitude, here's your inspirational quote for the day. Today I'm grateful for your affirmations for the day. Um, today's intention is what did I accomplish today and what can I do to make tomorrow better? This is your 30 day challenge calendar that you can use to complete 30 day challenges. This is a list for 31 days of gratitude. Here's a habit tracker where you can write your habits and then there are enough blocks here that you can track your habits for the month. Your master list, your go-to, to make, to eat, to experience, to watch, to listen to, to look into, to try, and to contact. Here's a blank vision board with the white and a blank vision board with the black background. Manifestations, I want to manifest. Visualizations, I see, I have, I feel. Limiting beliefs that I need to get rid of, you're going to list them here. Your daily affirmations. Here's your action plan list and your to-do list with your check boxes. Here's a self-care checklist and I wrote in um, self-care ideas that you can use for each aspect of your self-care, physical, psychological, emotional, spiritual, social, professional. And here's a blank self-care checklist that you can use to fill out for your areas of self-care that you want to complete. Here's a self-care routine where you can mark your mood for today, your ideas for physical self-care, mental self-care, and emotional self-care. Here's today's agenda, whatever you're planning for your self-care, affirmations, aspirations, and reminders. Here's a goal planner where you can write your goal, your overview, your action steps, and your action plan. This next one is your bucket list, 31 lines with your check boxes that you can check your bucket list off as you complete your um, listed item. Here's a bucket list with check boxes and it's two columns. You're currently with lines, listening to, watching, loving, eating, reading, planning, going, drinking, and celebrating. Here's another currently with the boxes. Your annual health maintenance, you can do your exam due date, the visit type, the provider, and the appointments. Here's your doctor visit review, patient, doctor, the reason for the visit, the date that you had the appointment and time, um, contact information for, for the provider, symptoms, your doctor's comments, and your prescription. And you can list here your next date when they want to see you back for a follow-up appointment. A template for your therapy notes where you can write the topics that you discuss during therapy, any notes you have about your therapy session, helpful tips and exercises that you got or completed during therapy, and what you need to do for your next session. Medication log. This medication log has your medication name, your dosage, the time you need to take the medicine, what it needs to be taken with, and your notes. Here's your workout log. It has your days going down the side. You can track your activity, time, the distance you've completed with your activity, how many sets or reps you've done, and the weight for your activity. Here's your daily workout with today's focus, the time and duration of your workout, your exercises, what muscle group, weight, reps. 
your cardio, time and distance, other training, your training notes, any supplements, heart rate, calories burned. Here's your body measurements. For four weeks, you can measure your chest, your left arm, right arm, waist, hips, your thighs, your calves, and um, track your weight. Here's a weight loss tracker and a weight loss tracker for the weeks. Here's a step tracker that you can use to track the date, the miles, and the steps that you've made. Your prayer and gratitude. Here's your verse for today. Uh, my reflection on today's verse, today's prayer I'm grateful for. Your faith journal. You have your scripture. Your reading for today. Your prayers. Praying for hope. Today I'm finding hope in. One simple joy I experienced today. List three of today's blessings. Here's your soap Bible study guide, your scripture, observation, application, and prayer, your prayerful journal, your scripture, your praise and thanks, prayers for and on my heart today, your Bible verse reflections, today's verse, my reflection on today's verse, how I want to walk in today's verse, today's prayer, and today's gratitude. Here's your sermon notes where you can write who your speaker was, the church, the sermon title, the scripture action points and verses and notes. And down here, you can write down any application or takeaways from the sermon. Here's your book review. You can put the book cover here, your title, the book author, the genre, the start date, your finish date, and your rating. Down here, you can write your plot, your takeaways and reflections and your favorite quotes. Here's another book tracker. Here's the book case tracker your auto book tracker, your movie tracker, your series tracker, your reading log, your podcast tracker. Here's a travel checklist. I gave some generic items that you would take for traveling. If this doesn't cover what you need for your travel checklist, I included a blank one that you can use to fill out what you need to take with you. Here's a travel budget that you can use for budgeting out your trip. This is your social media area. Here's your branding worksheet, your social media post planner, your content calendar, your social media tracker, your podcast planner. This is the social media review. And I did this um, template where you can use it for weekly tracking and monthly tracking. So you have your today's date, your start date, and your end date. And then you can track things like your followers, your gains, your finances, engagement, your popular posts. These are some templates I included for like memory planning. Here's some more blocks for a layout. Your blank calendar. Your notes. Notes in black. This is a legal pad with your checkoff boxes on the side. Here's another legal pad. This is a storytelling page. So you could put your stickers or pictures from your vacation up here, and then you could write down your thoughts or memorable moments that happened on your trip or for that day. This is be productive, be productive in black. Note it, note it in black. Here's your grid, your grid in black. You're dotted, you're dotted in black, you're blank white and you're blank black. And I included the plant profile um, template in here. So you can write down your name for your plants, the date you got the plant, the plant type, watering, um, instructions for the plant, fertilization, light, the soil types, any notes that you have, and you can include a picture for your plant. This is a plant monthly tracker where you can document your plant names here, and then whether you watered, fertilized, repotted, missed it, cleaned, or treated in the month that you're tracking. And this is where your daily pages are, back here. I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna to go to the help section. The help section is located after the daily pages. You get your help section and there are two pages of help tips on the help section. So I hope you have enjoyed this walkthrough for this planner. Um, so by the time that you're seeing this, the planner is up in my Etsy shop. If you have any questions about the um, planner, please comment below. 
Also, if you would like to see a setup video, please let me know below. And until next time.